Laid back Mickey here, and today we are going over why trike companies are going to gearless or internal hub shifting. Now, before we've always had the, the geared, you know, cassettes, but you know what I found out, and this is what I think a lot of trike manufacturers found out, is that as we get older, you know, we like our automatic cars. We like our easy to ride, don't think about it, just push the pedal and go. And that's the kind of same theory or th same thought process in a recumbent trike, is as we get older, we don't wanna do a lot of shifting, right? We, we don't wanna figure out what gear to be in on the hill or when we get, you know, come to a stop, what gear to be in. We want it easier. The reason why trike companies went to internal hubs that are either gearless or have all their gears inside a contained area is because it makes it easy when you come to a stop, you can twist it into the perfect gear for getting going again. Versus like when you go into the external gears, if you're not in the right gear, when you come to a stop at a stoplight, you're, you're stuck. You gotta be like, let's say if you're in a high gear and you're at a stoplight, you gotta grind that, you gotta push hard on that pedal to get going. And maybe you don't have the strength anymore to grind it out and to, to get into the easy gears. Because with external gears, you have to push, you gotta, if you want an easy gear, you gotta be shifting. You gotta be pedaling and shift. You just can't shift when you're not pedaling. And that's why trike companies went to internal hubs or gearless hubs like the MVLO, so that you can actually, you come to a stop, twist it. It's easy, it's there. Like how many, uh, stick shifts are out there in the marketplace anymore. I don't even think my kids ride a stick shift because everything kind of went to automatic. Automatics became a little cheaper. They became more normal. You don't have to think about it. Now, maybe you do like the sport shifting of the gears and stuff like that. Yeah, you still can go with the external gears. We got it. I would like a stick shift if I had like a Porsche 911 or, or some sports car. But even on the new sports cars, they have those trigger shifters that, which are super fast. And then they, you can downshift like multiple gears really fast. And that's the challenge with the bike. If you're slowing down, you can't shift a bunch of gears at one time. You gotta be doing it way ahead of where you're gonna stop. Or if you're gonna climb a hill, you gotta start uh, shifting right away. You can't shift when you're right in the middle of the hill without having it grind or make some word and sound or even malfunction. And that's why they went into like the roll off hub, which is easy to do on a hill or with the MVLO, everything is internal. And you can get this on some of the nicer trikes. You can get it on ice trikes, you can get it on a Zoob trikes and the internal hubs are great. You could even get a roll-off hub. A roll-off hub does have like gears, it has steps. And so with the internal hub, you just don't have to worry about your chain falling off. You don't have to worry about your chain getting all tied up or your derailleur breaking. There's a million ways to break a derailleur, but with the internal gears, you don't have to worry about it. And now with the gearless hubs, all you have to do is twist and it will get easier or it gets harder. In fact, you, on the ice trikes, you can get an internal hub that auto shifts. So if you get a motor on your trike, like with the Bosch motor, this internal hub will shift automatically. It knows if you're going up a hill. It knows if you're going on a flat. It knows if you wanna go faster or slower just by the cadence that you pedal. Internal hubs are a lot easier. You don't have a lot of maintenance on them, right? It's all sealed inside this you know, little hub right here, and you don't have to worry about it. So less worry, easier to maintain, and easier to shift, or if you don't like shifting, get the MVLO with auto shift, because it does it on its own. That's why many trikes nowadays are coming with this. You can even get it on some tear trikes. You can get it on like their Rogue or their Traveler. They actually have what they call an MVLO City Hub. Now the city hub is again, that twist and shift. So you could twist for easier or harder, but it doesn't have a wide gear range. So it's about this gear range if, you know, if you kind of see the point here versus like if you go to a Zoob or to ICE, you expand the gear range with a different NVLO hub. 
And so they have a city hub and then they have what they call the trekking hub. Trekking is, is for going on the bike trail, touring, going on longer distances. And also, if you want an even wider range than the NVLO, you can go with the Roloff hub. The Roloff hub is like the Rolex watch of hubs. It has a wider range, it's smoother, you can shift at a stop. So if you wanna go you know, five gears up, you can just shift it and then it'll shift up into the higher gears or shift down into the lower gears so it's easier to get started at a start. There's a lot of new options out there that you don't have to worry about these old gears with the chain going up and down and a derailleur. We got rid of all that stuff with some newer technology like the MBLO and it just makes your ride that much easier. So you're gonna find an uh, internal hub with like a trekking hub or the automatic shifting on some of your nicer trikes because yeah, they're a little bit more expensive because there's a lot more technology to it. Most trikes still come with external gear hubs, right? So you, you, your average trike, you're gonna get the external gears. And as long as you can figure out which gear to be in just by you know, shifting high or shifting low, you're gonna be fine. But if you want a little bit more luxury, a little bit more comfort, a little bit more ease, I'd probably recommend going into a gearless or an internal hub like the Roloff for just ease. So if all this is sounding like a lot to you, I can actually help you configure your dream trike and we can actually sort out which one's gonna work best for you, external, internal, auto shift. All you need to do is go ahead, either give me a call or go ahead and schedule online at laidbackcycles.com.